goods you owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Whoa, whoa, easy there, vault boy. This doesn't involve you. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, all right? Just don't do anything crazy. What's going on here? That's a simple business dispute, got it? Trudy's sitting on a pile of goods that she owes me. I tried reasoning with her. But it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. Wanna make some easy money? Help me out. I could use another gun. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. Hey. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Look, you owe them money. If you just pay them, then this'll be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. I got a better idea. You take care of Wolfgang. I'll pay you a hundred caps to put a bullet between his eyes. And why should I help you? Look, this place might not look it. But caravans come through here, okay? I have supplies. You help me, we can trade for whatever you need. All right, Trudy. I'll get rid of him. Thank you. I'll back you up from here. Go get him. Big mistake. I'll kill all you chem pushers. Can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. Let's see what you got. A little bit of everything. Excuse me. Never take a hit of Jad again, I swear. Oh, you changed your stitching long over. Excuse me. I can rest easy knowing that Wolfgang is rotten in hell. Thank you. Do you need anything? You got things covered from here? Yeah. It's gonna take my son a while to get off the chems, but we'll make it. We always do. Now, let's get back to business. You need anything for the road? Not looking to buy right now.
seems to be growing well. Sturgis. Now this place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. It'll make everyone feel more secure here. Hey, Sturgis. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now.
automa- This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Darling, this is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility run entirely by robots. There's not even one person here? That's right, darling. We are entirely self-sufficient, with no need for human guidance. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making, a testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. Obviously the man was brilliant to come up with something like this. I could hardly have said it better myself, darling. Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. Well, it's definitely unique. Sort of hard to miss. I'll take that as a compliment, darling. After all, the last thing any woman wants to be is ordinary. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green, if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling, what do you think of the water around here? It's awful. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Pressure's down, radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but perhaps you could lend us a hand. All right. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. I say, have you noticed Unit 7... What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Take it easy. I'm with the Minutemen. I'm here to help. You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. I didn't expect to get lectured by the people I came to help. Hey, I didn't mean to give offense. I'm damn glad you're here, no mistake. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, It'll be a welcome change for the better. Picking up hostile life signs.
Stirred up over nothing. Sign of them now.
Going down. I need covering fire. Lower level. Decided we were too much trouble. Show your face! Come on! I dare you! Find those raiders? Yeah, I took care of them. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. So, there's something I need to ask you. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. I'm listening. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? No. I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us 
and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Hey, that means a lot coming from you, Garvey. I appreciate that. Does that mean you'll do it? Okay, I'll do it. Good, good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth too. Don't worry, I'll be right beside you all the way, General. <laughs> That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last minute man is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've gotten word about a settlement that's being threatened by raiders. I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. 